I got a number theory question for you today. Find all primes p such that p squared plus 11 has exactly six divisors. So this counts one and p squared plus 11 as the, as the divisors as well. So try it on your own, or you could just watch me solve it. Okay, so there's a lot of primes, right? There's infinitely many primes. So we need to eliminate some before we could just test whatever remains. So the first thing we should note is that if the prime is greater than 3, then 3 divides p squared plus 11. OK, and let's give a quick proof of that. So p, if it's greater than 3 and it's prime, it's not divisible by 3. So it's going to e either equal positive or negative 1 mod 3, meaning if you divide by 3, the remainder is either going to be 1 or negative 1. OK, and now squaring it, p squared is going to be, well, if you square 1 or negative 1, you get 1. OK, so p squared is 1 mod 3, so p squared plus 11 is equal to 12 mod 3, which is the same thing as 0 mod 3. OK, so p squared plus 11 is equal to 0 mod 3, meaning that p squared plus 11 is divisible by 3. OK, so that's proven. Our next, the next thing we should prove is that so 2, if p is greater than 2, then 4 divides p squared plus 11. OK? And so again, let's give a quick proof. And the proof is going to be very similar. So any prime that's greater than 2 is going to be odd. OK? So p, again, is going to be plus or minus 1, this time mod 4, right? Any number, when you divide it by 4, has a remainder of 1 or negative 1. OK, and so again, same argument. Square it and add 11. We get 1 plus 11 mod 4, which is equal to 0 mod 4. OK, so if p is bigger than 2, then p squared plus 11 is divisible by 4. And so what's the point? Putting these two together, So anything that's bigger than 3 is also bigger than 2. So combining these, if p is bigger than 3, then p is divisible, sorry, then p squared plus 11 is divisible by all of these values. 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Anything that's divisible by 4 is also divisible by 2. Combining these two, we have 6. Combining them, we have 12. And then it's also divisible by p squared plus 11. And there might be more. OK, and we should just check that p squared plus 11 is bigger than 12. But the smallest prime bigger than 3 is 5. And 5 squared plus 11 is definitely bigger than 12. OK, and so let's check. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, at least 7 elements in this set. So any prime that's bigger than 3 will have at least 7 divisors. So we don't have to check any prime bigger than 3. So we just have to check what are the divisors of 2 squared plus 11 and what are the divisors of 3 squared plus 11. And then we're done with the problem. Whatever one has 6 divisors is our answer. OK, so let's say what if p equals 2? Then that gives us uh, 15. The divisors of 15 are 1. 3, 5, and 15. OK, that's not 6. That's only 4 of them. So p equals 2 is not a solution. What about what if p equals 3? There might be no solution. Let's check. 9 plus 11 is 20. 
the divisors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. And that's six of them. So the only prime that has the property that when you square it and add 11, what, what remains has six divisors is three, right? 20, or three squared plus 11 has six divisors. Well, let me know if you like these number theory problems. Uh, I could always do more of them. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.